Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharquita Dudley here with Life Coaching. Today, we're gonna be talking about social health. So in particular, relationships. Today we're talking about five things that women should not say to men. Now wait, ladies, I'm going to start with us, but next week I want you guys to join me because I'm going to do five things that men should not say to women. Now, let me give you this disclaimer. These things aren't general, right? The, we're not talking about the average on the street, walking up, which you should and shouldn't say to women or men. This video is more specific and the one next week is more specific to relationships, right? So these are the folks that are in a relationship. So today, again, we're talking about five things women should not say to men. And ladies, don't worry. Next week, I'm going to hold you down. We're going to be talking about five things that men shouldn't say to women. So without further ado, let's get started. If you all like what you hear in these videos, if these videos are helping you all, my life coaching videos, please subscribe. I want you to hit that bell, ding! And I want you to get those notifications so that you can hear all the content weekly. All right, let's get started. Number one, we need to talk. All right, ladies, do we need to talk to our men? Absolutely, but here's the thing. When you say those words, you're putting him on defense, right? So he's like, whoa, Lord, what do we need to talk about, right? He's automatically thinking that it's something negative, right? We don't want to do that. You're also making him very, very uncomfortable. So I heard a comedian uh, about a couple weeks back, right? My husband and I have been watching these um, dating comedian shows together. So we heard a comedian to say one day, he said, you know, sometimes my wife asks me, what am I thinking? And honestly, there's nothing on my mind. Like it's blank. And so I thought about that and I was like, you know, w w women are different. We're always thinking about something, right? If you have children, if you have loved ones, if your job, what you got to cook, what you're going to wear, just all types of stuff are always on our brain. Right. And so sometimes with the men, it's nothing. So here's the thing. When you come to him and say, you need to talk, if there is something on your mind or your heart, that you want them to hear, I want you to make sure it's a culture of um, acceptance and a culture of love and, and space to do that. So let's get on that a little bit. So I want you to think about heart talk, right? So when you're going to him, think about heart talk. What do I mean by heart talk? So you want to think safety first. Am I creating an environment that's safe for him to be able to one, listen to me, but two, you know, respond to what I need to tell him. So if you're coming to him and saying, we need to talk, it's probably not creating a safe space for you guys to actually talk because what's probably going to happen is that he may be in his head thinking more about your statement and how to respond than he is being receptive to your actual words and how you may feel at the time. So, um, what you want to do is you want to, um, go to him in a way that you're doing heart talk, that you're thinking safety first, and then you want him to be able to listen to your heart and your emotions. Um, and then what you want to do is when you guys are talking, you want to reflect his words and you want his emotions to touch you and you want your emotions to touch him. So with all that said, you don't want to go to him and saying, we need to talk because that's going to shut everything down and put them on defense mode. And then it's going to be like a wall that you're trying to get past rather than, um, you know, having a heart talking, loving conversation and him being open. All right, guys. Number two, things that you don't say to a man. And that's of course in your relationship, you don't say man up. All right. 
First, he is a man. We've already established that. So we don't need to say that. This statement is demeaning and disrespectful. All right. And it's not going to give you the response that you're looking for. The Bible says a soft answer will turn away wrath, but grievous words stir up strife. OK, don't say it. You're going to stir up some strife. All right. Now, if you're saying it to hurt them, that's a whole nother video. And we could talk about that then. But for this point, I'm, I'm for this point, I'm guessing that you want to have a flourishing relationship. And so I'm giving you things that you don't say so that you won't have strife in your relationship. Now, here's the thing. Again, we want to do heart talk well. So this isn't heart talk. What is heart talk? Anything that is going to be loving, that is going to be um, uh, help, help you guys to communicate better, um, that is going to make him feel loved and respectful, respected. We want to make sure that he feels loved and respected. All right. So if there are things that he's doing that you don't consider mature, then what you need to do is have the right heart posture and then talk to him about it in a loving, respectful way. So I want you to remember this, communicate, not instigate. All right. So we want to communicate, not instigate. Things may get worse if he doesn't feel respected. All right. So here's the thing, ladies, he probably already knows that he's not where he wants to be, but here he won't open up to you and, and have that conversation with you if you're handling him so disrespectfully. So here's the thing. You want him to be able to talk to you about these things for you guys to work through these things. But if, if that is your goal, you're going to have to be able to have a heart posture, um, and do heart talk well so that he opens up to you. So, um, if on your end, you feel like things are not continuing to get better, even if you're doing heart posture and you're um, having heart talk well with him, then you guys might need to see a therapist and um, work through it, you know, work through the issues in there. But again, the answer is not to say to him, man up. All right. Number three, things that you do not say to your man in a relationship. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Here's the thing. When you say that, you take away his ability to do something for you. Listen, if he wants to do something for you, please let him do it, <laughs> right? So when you say that to him, you're saying, I know how to do it better than you. You might as well just be saying that. So there are ways that you can say it in heart talk that is not offensive, right? Because you might offend him in saying it this way. Now, he may not be as detailed um, as you when he does it, or he may not do it just the way you do, but service acts are a part of the five love languages. So if that is how he shows his love to you, then allow him to do that. Don't get so caught up in the how to's that you miss the gesture of I love you. All right. Cause sometimes we can get caught up in that, you know, in those, those specific things of he didn't do it this way. He didn't do it this way. It doesn't matter. He tried and he did something. So let him do it. A good example is, uh, like, you know, if my husband takes the kids out, right? Well, I'm a little bit more detailed. I got to make sure they have a jacket, a snack, this and that, you know, they may come back with them on his shoulders and you know stuff all over their face but guess what they had a good time with daddy they went out i appreciate the alone time i appreciate i appreciated the gesture of the i love you so i want you guys to not stay so focused on the uh the details of it and just catch the gesture um there was um a video that I watched a while back with my husband and some of my other brothers and sisters in Christ. And it was called loving respect. And in that video, uh, they discussed how we see through a pink and blue lens. But one thing I'll never forget from that video, the person, the, the guy said, you watch, you watch your husband's actions. If after a disagreement or whatever, he has an action afterwards, then he's saying he loves you through that action. So ladies, Watch the action. Don't pay attention to the details. All right. 
All right, ladies. So the other thing about um, not saying to him, what is it? What was the statement? Never mind. I got it. Never mind. Oh, I'll do it myself. Okay. All right, ladies. So the other thing about telling him or not saying to him, never mind, I'll do it myself, is that he likes to feel needed as well. So try begin telling him the things that you love that he does so that he'll do more of that. Because here's the thing, men like results. Men also aim to please. So when you tell him things that um, he's doing well and that you love for him to do, he'll keep doing those things. All right, ladies, number four thing, you do not say to your man in a relationship, I'm not your mother. Or I'm just like my mother, you know that. Let's leave the mamas out of it, all right? Unless you're doing number one, when we're talking about the heart talk, um, because there are times that these conversations need to, need to be had um, or need to be said, but it's more so in an environment to um, talk about the early caregiver relationships or pre preconceived notions um, or unconscious relationship patterns when it comes to how you interact with your mate or how your mate interacts with you. It should not be said as a, uh, a footstool for a disagreement or a um, degrading statement to get your partner aroused. So with that said, if you're using it for those two purposes, leave the mamas out of it. So it can be used um, again, you know, if you guys are having some heart talk, it can be used for education and reformation uh, of your relationship patterns. Um, but, you know, this again is another opportunity to do heart talk well. And really, um, if, if that was your intention, if that was why you made the comment of like, I'm not your mother or I'm just like my mother, you can say that in a different way um, where it could be a space with it, where you guys can talk about that in freedom and um, in love. It, it needs to feel like a love conversation. That's why we say heart talk well, right? Like you love them. So uh, the other thing is if, he, if he's displaying behavior that makes you feel like you have to play a mother's role in his life, you may want to sit down and have a conversation with him about you know, what things that you can do to help and how you can help him to meet his goals. Um, and you can say something like, um, you know, well, you know, I'm really good at X, Y, and Z, but I think that, you know, um, A, B, and C might be, you know, a little bit too much for me. And just have that conversation with him in love. He will, he would respect that more than you coming off in a negative connotation, talking about how you're just like your mother or how you're not his mother. So, um, you know, again, we want to heart talk well and we want effective communication. And so to get that, he needs to feel respected. Um, and while you're feeling loved and heard, um, maybe the both of you can come together and figure out some reasoning within that. All right, guys, number five of the things that you do not say to your man in a relationship. Nothing is wrong. All right, ladies. We know when we say nothing is wrong that something is wrong. <laughs> Clearly, for us, it's clear. For them, not so clear. And guess what? They cannot read our minds. So if there is something on your mind, um, this is a good time to use uh, I feel statements, right? Um, but he here's the thing. If you're not ready to talk, then say that. I need you to say something like, you know what, honey, I'm not, I'm not ready to talk. Um, I'm hurt and I just need some time to kind of get my words together. Can you respect that? Right. That's letting him know that something is wrong. You're just not ready to talk. Right. So hopefully you guys have a relationship where he can respect that and give you the space and give you the time until you're ready to talk. However, you just saying nothing is wrong is not helping because that's shutting down, shutting him out, and um, it won't help you guys to communicate better. So when you say to him, honey, I'm hurt, um, I need to find the words, just remember that you set aside a time that you do meet with him because 
you don't want to leave him hanging. You definitely want to revisit this with him. Now, one thing that I found is that when we say nothing is wrong, it's like a default response um, to the, the fact that we're tired and we just don't feel like talking about it at the moment, or we don't feel like explaining it for the possibility of being rejected or um, dismissed by him. So here's the thing. If that continues to happen, Time after time, you do express your feelings and your wa your wants and your needs. Then what you might need to do is go to therapy and hash it out in there. Because if you're constantly using I feel statements like, honey, I feel dismissed when I come to you with my feelings and you tell me, oh, those are just feelings and you keep it moving and don't, and we don't explore and talk about it. If you use those I feel statements with him and he's constantly dismissing you, then therapy might be a place where you guys can hash that out, where you feel that you're loved and that you're cared for um, and that he's responding to your, your needs. Remember in the, um, this, the second point, I, I pointed out um, how we want to listen with our hearts. So if you feel like your man is constantly listen with it, listening with his head to respond to you and not feeling your emotions, then you might need to go to therapy because it's just going to be null and void for you to be on the side of like, Oh, nothing is wrong. And then him to be on the side of, um, of feeling like, you know, he's, um, having to justify the things that he's saying or make an excuse or tell you why he's thinking the way he's thinking. So if you guys are butting heads in that way, you might need to go to, um, to, to therapy and counseling my help. All right. So I know I told you I was going to give you five, but I'm going to give you two bonus ones. So here we are. Bonus number one. Never say this to him. <laughs> you are so immature. All right. This goes back to number two, man up, right? Not only do you not say this, you do not insinuate this either. Um, if they are immature, there was something that you saw in them to be in a relationship with them. So speak that, um, encourage him, motivate him, be his cheerleader, um, or move on because there's always another woman willing to uplift him. Bonus number two, you are so insecure. All right. Don't say this. It will start an ego war. All right. He will be more focused on competing with you rather than collaborating with you. All right. So here's the thing. He probably is insecure, but it might be invisible and there might be an invisible wound there that he does not know. He has no clue how to clean bandage and let heal. So you can help point him in the right direction, um, so that he can do that. But if you are, um, again, throwing salt on an open wound, it's not going to help him feel any more, uh, adamant about letting you help him through that. So just don't say it. If he is, if you do feel like that, he's insecure, you might want to go to him and talk to him again, love talk, heart talk, go to him and say, honey, I've recognized this and this and this. It must be hard for you. Tell me about that. Go Dr. Phil on him. But just do not say you are so insecure. All right, ladies, I know I was kind of tough, but I am a life coach and a therapist. So sometimes I come from that angle. The purpose of this channel is to water, plant and shed light for growth to leave the world a better place than it was when we found it. All right. So I want you to share these videos with your girls, share them with your mentees. All right. And listen, ladies, the next video. I got you. I'm going to tell the men five things that they should not tell a woman in relationship. So I want you guys to watch next week, spread the word. Thank you for watching. If you like the content and it was helpful to you, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell. Ding! And I will see you next time for the fellas. All right, ladies. Bye.